Right, so this video is a tutorial on how to use the Duplicate plugin for uh, WordPress. So this is uh, a really easy way if you're looking to transfer a brochure website or websites uh, relatively smaller in size. If you're looking to transfer a website, which is say like an e-commerce platform, with quite a few products, then sometimes it can time out just because of the amount of time it takes to, um, to zip up the website files and your current host might not um, support that. It might just time out. Uh, so this is a really good way to, if you're fed up with your hosting provider or you want to upgrade your hosting and you need to transfer your website, then this is a really good way. So this is uh, the, the normal um, ad plugins for WordPress. So you want to look for a duplicator. Yep, and then just install like any other plugin would. So this will give you the capability to uh, make a copy of your website. Yep, just go for this. So you want to create a new package. This is a really uh, small website, so it shouldn't take too long at all. It's just um, a landing page. So this, uh, you can see that it's, all the signs are good, good, good. If your website's too large, then it will come up with a warning and give you some advice on that. So you can just build package. Sometimes this does get stuck. If it does get stuck, refresh the screen and then come back in like 10 minutes time. And there's a chance that the website did continue to uh, create a copy. The plugin did work. So here you are. This is the installer file what you need and the archive. So. You can just click on these and download both of them. So that's that's perfect. It's made a copy of the website. So now you want to go to your new hosting platform. So for example, uh, this is a SiteGround account. So you'll go to um, your new hosting platform, and then you want to access the file manager. You can do it via the FTP, but I've just done this to be a, a bit simpler. So this is where you would upload uh, the new file, the installer file and the, the archive file, which you've created just here, installer and archive. You would upload these to uh, the file manager. We could did this earlier. So you've got the installer file there and uh, the archive file there. Um, so with the files uploaded, you would like to then change your DNS records. You need to point the, the name server records to the new hosting platform so you can access these files. So here's your name. This is 123 Reg. Here's um, the name servers and our new hosting platform says, hey, these are the name servers you want to use. So we have changed them. Refresh. Yeah, they've changed, which is good. So we've done that, which, which is excellent. Um, and we've uploaded those two files, which we downloaded. So they're now in the, um, the file manager. And now what we do is uh, you go to your website address, type in your website address, and then at the end of your website address, you do forward slash, and then installer.php.php. And you come to this page. So now what you need to do is uh, you need to create a database for the installation. So we're creating a database. So that is the database name. Have a notepad open or something just to Keep a record of that. That's the database name. Uh, create user. User. Record of these for the process. You because you'll need them on the next screen.
output. Uh, you've got managed access, um, and this has done it automatically. So you've got all privileges. Sometimes that doesn't happen. You have to assign the user for all privileges. So that's perfect. So then you go to the, the web page, your website, which you won't put up earlier. Uh, you want to type in that uh, database name, which we were given. The user. Validate. All good, no warnings. That's fine. And then we click on uh, accept terms and conditions. Okay. Just unpacking the files now. For a small website, it'd be fairly quick. Large ones, it will take a, a little while longer. So, yeah, that's all done. And you can now click to log in. Not sure what the password was, but if we go to here, website's up. So now it's successfully transferred and it's, it's sitting on the um, new hosting platform. Um, yeah, so that's it. So as soon as you log into the website now, you'll be prompted to uh, delete the, the duplicator files, which is um, super straightforward. Uh, yeah, and then it will clean up the files and your website's been transferred successfully. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching along. If you have any questions, and uh, just drop us a message on the comments and uh, we'll be glad to help you.